Welcome everyone, in this video I have some really interesting glitched blocks to show you using block transmutation in version 1.7. So I'm in 1.7.5, which is the last version where this works. So don't try it from 1.7.6 to 1.7.10. And what I have right here is a cake. This is the normal cake, it's full. And if you eat a slice, then it gains data value 1. And if you eat another slice, now this is data value 2. Data value 3, 4, 5. And this is where it normally stops. But using this method, this is data value 6, which is a thinner than normal slice right here. I can prove to you, if I eat this cake, you can see this is the final slice, and if I try eating it, it's gone. But this one is even thinner than that. And right next to it, I have a zero width slice. So this is a zero slice cake. And then even crazier than that, right here, this is a negative one slice cake. Here's negative two. You can see it keeps on going up until this one, which is a negative full cake. So this cake is placed right here. I can't place something right here, but I can place it right here. It's going this way as you're eating more slices. And this is possible in survival. I'm going to show you how. So the first thing to keep in mind is how much data value there is. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And that is how many arrows you're going to have to shoot. This is the machine that you need to build. You can pause it if you want to build this. This needs to be a transparent block, like glass. And the first step is to shoot however many uh, slices you want taken away right here. So I'll make a zero slice cake, which is data value seven. So you put the seven arrows, and then you place the cake so that those arrows are inside it. Then you shoot on top of here. Oh, sorry, I couldn't see it. Uh, it's there, you just can't see it. And then, oh there, there, now it's there. Uh, and then I'm gonna pull this lever, and now it looks like it's floating, but it really is, uh, it thinks it's on this block. So what I'm going to do is break this block, and before it fully falls, I'm going to place this golden pressure plate. So I'm just going to hold right click as I'm breaking this. And as soon as it breaks, I place it, and then there, it converted the cake into a zero slice. Now the other glitch block I have to show you is this cauldron right here. So normally if you fill a cauldron and try to get the comparator output, it will only go to three. You might know this if you try using it in redstone circuits, it's used a lot, because it can be pushed by pistons. But this one right here, this one has a output of 15, the full redstone output from a cauldron. So this is a glitch cauldron that was also created using this method. What I did is I put a cauldron, and you put how many uh, output you want, that's how many arrows you do. You do the same method, you transmutate it, you can get a redstone capacitor of sorts to store whatever value you need, which is really useful if you want to try to make certain uh, redstone computers. All right, that is it for this episode, guys. Just a side note, these obviously do not exist in the modern version, so as you upgrade, they will disappear. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.